Let's talk about kids and chores. My three kids, eight, 10, and 12, have been using this chore chart for the better part of a year now, and it's worked really well for us. I think our new system catches the balance of doing work because you're part of the family, but also giving a little reward or incentive. It's almost back to school time, and we've gotten way out of routine this summer. Time to get back on track. Here's how it works. They each have a chore to do every weekday. When all the boxes are checked at the end of the month, they each get $10. Here are a few suggestions when it comes to chores. First, keep it simple. If the chores are too complicated or take too long, they won't want to do them. If they know they can knock them out in a few minutes, it doesn't seem like as big of a deal. So for example, I wash everyone's laundry and put it in their room for them to fold and put away. Number two, show them how to do each chore. We can't expect them to automatically know how to clean mirrors, fold a shirt, or sweep dust into a dustpan. When we started, I made sure to show each child how to do each chore. Number three, it takes some trial and error to get the chores on the right days for multiple kids. Keep tweaking it until it works for you. For example, if everyone folds laundry on the same day, I can knock out laundry one day a week, but not everyone can unload the dishwasher or clean the same bathroom on the same day, so I space these chores out on different days. I use the same chore chart and print it off each month. I made it editable and with a few variations for a number of kids and days of the week, and you can find that in my Etsy shop. For one child, check out this chore chart plus daily routine principle. I actually use this for my routine as well. Let's talk about the money side of it. I know there are lots of opinions about getting paid or not getting paid for chores, so it just depends on the family and resources. As our kids have gotten older, we've chosen to do $10 a month. It's not a whole lot of money, but boy, do they get excited about it. I think it's because it seems more significant to be handed $10 in one lump sum rather than $1 here, $2 there. This amount has helped a lot with them asking us to buy little things like slime, stuffies, candy. They can decide for themselves if it's worth it. And they have a better appreciation of how much everyday things cost. It's interesting too to see how they spend their money. I have one who saves up for bigger purchases, one who has holes in his pockets, and one that actually wants to invest in stocks because he saw a commercial a year ago. But for the most part, because they worked for their money and only get paid once a month, they plan out what they want to do in advance and think twice before purchasing, especially because they earned it. I used to do this chore chart when they were younger. They assigned 50 cents to a dollar for specific chores after they had already done their family chores. And it worked great for a while until they wanted more money and started arguing over who got to do what chore. I mean, plants can only be watered so many times during the week. But with this new chart, it's already decided who does what and what chore, and it keeps the house in somewhat good shape, especially now that they're old enough that their chores actually help instead of make a mess. Now that it's routine, it's saved us a ton of arguments. A lot of the time they do their chore of the day without being asked because they know it will only take a few minutes. And there's something about making that check mark on the fridge that they love. I think they feel a sense of accomplishment watching it fill up. It's a win-win situation because they're learning life skills they need to take care of themselves in the home and for the wallet. So that's how we do chores these days. It evolves and changes as they grow. If you feel like you're the only one doing anything in the house, I highly recommend trying out a schedule. It took me years to get into a routine, but it's a game changer. Tell me, do you have set chores in your house? I'd love to hear your tips too. Luca. How do you feel about chores? They're not very fun, but you get some nice money in the end, so it's worth it. It's worth it? Mm -hmm. They don't take too long, or? No, it'll take five minutes. Do you need reminding, or do you do it by oh, yourself? I need reminding. You need reminding? Adri, yeah. how do you feel about chores? Uh, chores, pretty fun. I mean, like, it lets you do something when you're bored. Okay. Yeah. And Is the $10 good. okay? Yeah. Yeah? What, what are you going to buy this month? Uh, or I'm next kind of month? forced to buy hamster stuff. You have to buy hamster food now. I mean, I would raise it. You would raise it to what? 15. 15. Yeah, I Did you gotta do more chores? So I can mm -hmm. get. I would do that. Yeah, I would do more chores for 15. Right. Just meet me in my office for that raise. Okay. Claire, how do you feel about chores? I like it. Yeah? Are you a spender or a saver? In between, I guess. What are you gonna spend your money on next month? 
maybe like toys? I don't know. You could spin it on bubble gum. <laughs> you could. Alright, love you.